Hello and welcome to the Fundamentals of API Security. My name is Mike Ellison, Developer Advocate at Akamai Technologies, powering and protecting life online. With the rise of microservices architecture, APIs have become part of our daily life and are simply found anywhere online. Millions of API endpoints also means millions of potential attack services. And in this video series, I will be breaking down the fundamentals of API security so you are better equipped with the necessary security skills needed to build your APIs. API, three simple letters yet so important to our daily life online. API stands for Application Programming Interface and acts as a way to communicate or interface between systems. The term API was coined 75 years ago, but has seen a tremendous boost in the last decades or so with the rise of two concepts, Web APIs and microservices architecture. Web APIs act as the bridge between the client and the server. And typically this is your device or browser communicating to a server out there on the internet. RESTful web APIs or just simply APIs are developed to be lightweight, fast and easy to use with the existing internet infrastructure. Now a common RESTful web API uses HTTP methods to execute an action. And typically these are GET, POST, PUT or DELETE. And also the API request is broken up in specific paths that signify that action. For instance, there could be a post and then a slash login or get slash orders slash the actual order ID. The API response returned from the server is usually returned in the JSON format, making this easy to read. APIs power microservices architecture. Microservices focus on breaking down complicated workflows into much simpler and smaller steps. Think of a sushi restaurant. Instead of having three chefs, each creating complicated dishes by themselves, the steps for these are instead broken down into microservices. One chef focuses completely on the rice, another chef focuses completely on cutting the fish, and another chef goes in and assembles all the sushi. Breaking it down into microservices makes it easier and more efficient. DevSecOps teams consisting of development, security, and operations can now work independently on each microservice without impacting the entire system or workflow as a whole, making it much more efficient. Microservices and APIs together with agile, DevOps and DevSecOps movements have become the new standard in web application development. And as a result, almost every major website or mobile app is using APIs as a way to interact between your device and the servers. Now with this huge increase in API consumption, it is shifting the attention of these threat actors from making traditional web application attacks, for instance, by attacking web forms like login pages, and shift over to simply attacking the API endpoint directly. The API endpoint is that interface that can hold all the important data that threat actors are looking for or offer a way to manipulate the data inside of databases for their own gain. Think of an online bank. If someone can get access to the bank's API and retrieve all of their customers' account balances, that would be a huge breach. Of course, if they can access the API and change their own balance to millions of dollars, that would also be a major problem. And of course, they could overwhelm that API endpoint, making it unavailable for anyone to use. Now finally, the bank itself needs to manage all of their APIs, the updates, the versioning, the infrastructure it runs on, and that can be a very complicated task. Now, this is just a very simplified view of the API risks and threats out there, but at the core, 
I am breaking down API threats into four distinct categories with a simple mnemonic device to remember. AIM, with two M's, to protect your APIs. AIM stands for Availability, Intel, Manipulation, and Management. And these four categories are critical to breaking down your API security one level at a time. We will also be comparing this AIM categorization to one of the industry's most important resources when it comes to API security, which is the Open Web Application Security Project, also known as OWASP, and their API security top 10. The OWASP Foundation is focused on improving the security of web applications and of course more recently APIs. The members have collaborated in previous years to create the OWASP Web Application Security Top 10 and then in late 2019 create a standalone OWASP API Security Top 10. The API Security Top 10 takes common API security weaknesses, risks and threats and groups them into 10 distinct categories. And I've combined that with the AIM categorization and make these four categories to make it easier to digest. In the availability category, we have API number four, the lack of resources and rate limiting. In the Intel category, we have API number one, broken object level authorization or BOLA. And also API number two, broken user authentication or BUA. And finally, API number three, excessive data exposure. In the manipulation category, we have API number five, broken function level authorization. API number six, mass assignment. API number eight, injection. And then finally, in the management category, we have API number seven, security configuration. API number nine, improper assets management. And API number 10, insufficient logging and monitoring. Each of these can be exploited individually, but the more complex combinations of these threats together can create serious risks to your API security. Typically, a threat actor knows nothing of your API and will seek to gain intel on how your API works and what data it could hold. Once they have the intel and know how it works, they could move on and will move on into manipulating the data that you have and creating all sorts of problems for you. I can highly recommend any developer to spend more time reading up on OWASP and looking at their website www.owasp.org. They have a wealth of helpful information available to you. As mentioned, the OWASP Foundation is focused on improving the security of web applications and more recently APIs. And OWASP has created a very helpful tool to learn the fundamentals of API security called the Completely Ridiculous API, or simply Crappy. Crappy helps you better understand this OWASP API security top 10, the 10 most common ways to exploit APIs. Now the Crappy tool that I will also be using in my videos is a microservices architecture stack that acts as a simple car mechanic website. You can use their web application to register your car, make appointments for servers and order parts for your car. The web application uses a ton of API microservices in a variety of ways, of course, built in not so secure ways, so we can easier learn how to exploit APIs. Now, if you're interested in trying Crappy out for yourself, I highly recommend to take a look at the Crappy GitHub repository, where you can find installation instructions, and more information in terms of challenges. And you can find it on github.com slash OWASP slash crappy. Join me next time on my quest to uncover all the secrets that APIs have to offer. Subscribe and get notified when the next video is released.